Is it possible to make a thin and light notebook that's not just an all-rounder, but is suitable for gaming too? ASUS says so, but we're here to verify that claim. The model we have with us today is the new ASUS TUF-F15 FX517. That's the successor of the popular FX516. It did well in our tests, but we weren't happy that it reached almost 60 degrees Celsius on the outside when put under heavy load. This time around, the F15 has an even more powerful CPU and GPU, but the cooling system is upgraded as well. Let's put it to the test. The new Dash F15 is indeed pretty thin and light, especially given its hidden gaming nature. Yes, it kind of looks like an office device, as its metal lid has clean lines and a subtle tough logo in the upper right corner. Lifting the lid gets us to the first impressive upgrade. The FX516 didn't have a camera due to its narrow borders. Now the borders are even smaller, but there's an HD webcam above the screen. Actually, the whole body is a bit smaller, but that doesn't make it weaker. It meets the military-grade A10H standards. Despite the smaller chassis, we have a full-sized keyboard with a 1.5mm travel distance and a numpad section. The WASD keys are transparent, which pairs nicely with the backlight. The touchpad offers excellent gliding and tracking, while also having a much larger surface area compared to last year's model. The I.O. is well populated with everything you might need. There are two Type-C ports, one of which supports Thunderbolt 4. The other one is a USB 3.2 Gen 2 with DisplayPort 1.4 and G-Sync support. Plus, it can be used for charging. There are also two full-sized USB 3.2 Gen 1, HDMI 2.0B, Gigabit LAN port, audio jack, and a Kensington lock slot. There are three panels to choose from. Even the base variant has a 144Hz refresh rate. It's an IPS panel with great viewing angles, and its brightness maxes out at 284 nits. It's far from accurate in terms of colors, but things get better when we apply our design and gaming profile, which you can get from the link in the description below the video. Well, it's pretty good for gaming, but if you're planning to do professional work with colors, get the 300Hz variant, which covers the full sRGB color gamut. Actually, there's an even better option, a 165Hz one with a QHD resolution. This panel covers 100% of the ultra-wide DCI-P3 gamut, which is impressive to say the least. The base display option might not be the best for color-sensitive work, but it goes easy on the 76-watt-hour battery, allowing it to reach almost 9 hours of web browsing, or a bit less than 7 hours of video playback. That's a very good result for a gaming notebook. It's possible thanks to the MS Hybrid Eco mode of the MUX switch, which forces the system to use the integrated GPU. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome! But, if you need maximum performance, you can make the Tough Dash F15 use the discrete GPU, boosting the frame rate by up to 30% on the embedded display. This results in over 90 FPS in games like Battlefield 5 on ultra settings, even with the mid-range 75W RTX 3050 Ti. The top configuration of the FX517 has an RTX 3070 with 105 watt TGP, which is more than 30% higher than the FX516's 80 watt best GPU. And it uses the full potential of the 144 Hz screen since it runs with 147 FPS on average. On the CPU side, the top option is the Core i7-12650H which is powerful enough for photo and video editing, or any other type of heavy load. Looks like the cooling system is well thought out, but let's take a peek. We see a setup of five heat pipes and two arc flow fans with very thin blades. According to ASUS, that leads to up to 13% more airflow and reduced noise. By the way, when the temperature drops below 50 degrees Celsius, the fans turn off and the notebook becomes completely silent, dissipating heat passively. 
The left fan is intentionally positioned just below the WASD keys, and as you can see on our IR thermal photo, that's the coolest area on the keyboard. Also, the temperature on the warmest point is below 47 degrees Celsius, which is more than 10 degrees lower compared to the predecessor FX516. Good job! Despite the smaller footprint, the notebook keeps its upgradability sharp, and it even has a new easy upgrade design with a captive screw in the corner which pushes the bottom of the chassis away from the body. Below, we find two DDR5-4800 SODIMM slots for up to 50% faster RAM compared to the DDR4 modules. There are also two M.2 SSD slots, one of which supports Gen 4 drives for some configurations. You can watch our teardown video for more info on that. If specced properly, the Dash F15 can be a fantastic laptop for gaming that can also be used for productivity and creator work. That's a huge upgrade over the FX516. Now the tough Dash looks and works as a true high-end notebook. It doesn't just provide great performance, but it also has many additional perks like Dolby Atmos support, AI noise cancellation, and fast charging. Basically everything we wanted after our F15 2021 review is present in the new F15 2022. We'll leave a quick remark here. The CPU is fast, but it's obvious that it has even more potential, and we expect it to be unleashed with a software update. We'll contact ASUS about it, and we'll update our detailed text review with their answer. Of course, we've done a lot more tests, and you can check out all the results in our in-depth review on LaptopMedia.com. You'll find the link in the description below the video.